Irving Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning. From the Tigers' den, it's the ICTN Game of the Week. Boys 9, 6A high school basketball. The Colleyville Heritage Panthers against the Irving Tigers here on the campus of Irving High School. Hi, everybody. Rob Woolman with you. John Nelson joins me in just a moment. The Panther team is off to a really good start. These guys lost their opening game of the year against Marcus, but have since have been on a roll. They are 11-1 on the season. They've got a nice supply of big posts and forwards. In fact, they do a three forward, two guard offense. Marquis Young, Treston Steele, Kevin Ogiga, number 10, a guard. The other two forwards are Braden Miller, number 22, and J.D. Stump, number 35, the senior. For the Irving Tigers, you see some football players on this team. I can count four of them right there. Markel Cooks, Abram Davalos, Kevon Thomas, Decorious Choice, and Ivan Perla, number 32, the senior forward for the Irving Tigers. And they have had a tough go of it. They are 2-8 and eight on the season. Some of that has to do with the football players trying to transition and get their sea legs, if you will. But they're running into a tough team tonight in Colleville Heritage. As you take a look at Steve Perry on the sideline, and Coach, you don't have your suit and tie on, so he doesn't even look the same with his golf shirt on, does he? You know, it's pre-district. When we get into district, we'll, we'll put on the suit and tie. Perry in his 11th season, 26 years of coaching. He's been to the playoffs seven times. And then on the other side, and here's a guy that's familiar with us, and uh, that's Stephen Hamrick. He was on the Irving MacArthur staff for three seasons, an assistant at Heritage. His dad was a coach uh, for a long time in the West Texas area. In fact, he told me, Coach Hamrick told me, he says, I was just at Irving MacArthur having a good time minding my own business. Got a call from Heritage and said, hey, do you want to coach? And he said, okay. His kids were still there in the school district, so it was a no-brainer for him. And he says, you're going to see a big difference in his team this year from what he had last year. He said the guard play has been the difference. He, he relies on the bigs to make things happen. And if the guards, so go the guards, so go Colleyville. And with the call, John Nelson. All right, Rob, it's a Panther-Tiger cage match tonight here at Irving High. The Colleyville Heritage Panthers will move from right to left. Number three won the jump, Marquis Young. He's the team's leading scorer. Heritage comes in averaging 57 points a game. The Irving defense this year through 10 games and a travel on Kevin Ogega, Irving allowing 54 points a contest in the first possession for the Tigers. Kevin Ogega moves it up court, 5'10", junior, one of three for Coach Stephen Perry. And Irving coming off a loss to uh, a private school last week. The drive by Davalos, separation, outlet pass. There's Tristan Steele. Steele got it in front of Kevon Thomas. Up high to Miller. Miller fronted by Cooks, shot not there. Marquis Young trying to save it, picked up in the paint and taken away by Irving's number five, Abraham Davalos. Davalos one working on two misses and catching it deep as DC Choice. Choice lets it fly, it misses. Irving 0 for two on that exchange. JD Stump with a rebound. Up top thinking three, now right side to Stump and Stump misses a three. And off the reflection comes to the Irving Tigers. Perla wearing number four tonight instead of 32 for the Tigers. Thought that was a change. Perla as uh, Kevon Thomas misses a three. Thomas comes in averaging 12 as also the team's leading rebounder. No score in the first minute and 45 seconds last touched. And the Tigers Watch number five play it in. Tristan Steele in front of their own bench. Steele guarded by Davalos. 
Looking, lobs it to Marky Young, works it out top to Braden Miller. Miller misses a three, up high, rim high with a one-handed rebound as Thomas. In the front court as they slow it up. Irving won this game last year, 48-43. They played in two tournaments. They try to go deep for the three, and overshooting it is Davalos in the fourth possession now for the Heritage Panthers. Well, if you're a Tiger fan, the good news is you haven't let them score either. No, that's the best scoring defense. J.D. Stump, who will shoot for three. Stump and Ogega will let it fly. Here's Marky Young coming off a 25-point game against Argyle. The first bucket of the game is scored by Braden Miller underneath a 6-4 senior, one of nine for Coach Hamrick. Two love, Panthers. Not really a scoring frenzy to begin tonight. D.C. Choice drives, changes hands, and was bumped by number five and number ten as well, Ogega. D.C. Choice across the way. He'll look for Cooks or Thomas, and here's Kevon Thomas. Thomas has been in double figures the last five consecutive games for the Tigers. Again, overall, a 2-8 and eight record. Through the lane, letting it fly from the dotted line and connecting is D.C. Choice in the first bucket for Irving. Choice showing that quickness. We saw him in football at a running back position. Ran right through the line there, didn't he? He sure did. Un not uncontested, but not bothered about the defenders at all. J.D. Stump by part of Marquis Young. Young backs it out front of Markel Cooks. Ogega on the left wing, puts it on the floor, drives, gets a shot off, and uses every bit of the glass. And a 4-2 Colleyville Heritage lead. Panthers coming off a win over Lake Highlands. Off balance, that's a miss by Davalos. Heritage winning 67-43. In their last contest, they've now won 10 in a row. Pull-up jumper missed by Steele. And coming out with it is Thomas. Thomas working on Miller. Inside misses. Oh, stone cold in the scoring. And that's an attempt missed by Miller out of bounds. Last touch by Irving. 3.40 to go in a fast-moving first period. Daniel Allen comes in, 5'11", junior for the Tigers. You know, Marquis Young at 6'4", and he's not skinny either, number three. Trying to get open underneath on a long looping pass caught by Steele. Outside for a three, in and out as Ogega misses. And Allen picks it up off the floor for the Tigers. They trail by two. Thomas, now motioning Allen to stay in the middle. Skip pass over to Choice. Inside the Cooks, now back out again. Down low, entry pass and a miss by Perla. Ivan Perla. You know, Perla did well, a great position. He was there, just couldn't make it happen once he got the basketball. But I'm, I'm sure Coach Perry's happy with the fact that you know, the offense is working. Getting position, he's got to make the basket fall. And boy, they, the substitute now, you've got a 6'8 Alex Weaver in number 12 for a college. DC Choice hit with that last foul, each team with a foul. Carleville, just when they substitute, they just get taller. <laughs> Weaver, hard to miss him. They try to go to Weaver, they do. Off the double team, has it wrestled away from him and picked up by the Tigers. Also in the game, it's like Crosby trying to go baseline, deflected away from Perla. Yeah, that is Max Crosby, and it's 6'5", number 33, the redhead with a headband. Looking for Weaver. Steele. Tristan Steele. And a 6'2", Panther lead with 2'12 to go in the first. Tigers are going to have a tough time 
Sealing off the inside with size like this. The way to bring him out, hit the jump shot. Left side to Choice. In the middle is Kevon Thomas. Now they work it right side to Allen. Allen again closing in as Weaver. Cooks now back out, almost taken away. On the wing by Tristan Steele. 6-2, Colleyville Heritage on top. 11-1 on the year. Very patient, looking for a right shot. They down, try to go down low and took all of that time, almost a full minute, and they come up empty. And still trailing by four. Ryan Manley in for Colleyville Heritage, number 23. And the 6'8 senior to play it in, Weaver. Diaz also in for Irving. Mario Diaz, a 6'3 junior, one of four on the varsity. Trying to go deep, and they do. Bottoming it out is Caleb Rittenauer. Rittenauer with a three. And a lead of seven. Nance Nelson in the game at a guard. Bounce pass intended for Markel Cooks. Tigers turn it over with under a minute and a palm job on Manley. Manley palmed it, turns it over, so nothing lost off the Irving turnover. Bailey Williams, big sophomore in at 6-3. Well, still kind of manageable, just down by seven. Under a minute left. Kevin Leva also in. Leva, number 23. This is he, working on Nelson. Caught somehow by Thomas. Thomas, whirly bird move underneath. He got uh, Crosby to commit, team foul number two on Heritage with 43.1 to go. In the first, Kevon, the athletic type, quarterback for the football team, point guard for the basketball team. As a foul shooter hitting 78%, connects on the first, coming off a 13-point game, 9-3 the count. Going to need every bit of his athleticism against this Colleyville Heritage team. Hands them both. And the lead at five. Tariq uh, Whitmore in for the Tigers, number two. Steve Perry using everyone on the bench tonight. She used eight already, eight players, nine, four. Cross court to Nelson, shoots it over to Rittenauer. Trying to work it down, leading by five. Trying to take the last shot if they can. On the side, this is Weaver, holds it, unloads to Nelson, almost lost it, 14 seconds. Manley. Underneath, Crosby. Mac Crosby at 6-5 in the lead at seven with one second. It's picked off, and at the buzzer, it would not have counted. Weaver's shot would not have counted, but as it is, Heritage leads by seven. At the end of the first quarter, our ICTN Game of the Week, Collierville Heritage 11, Irving 4. So, Collinville Heritage with a 11-4 lead at the end of one. Not one player on either side has scored more than at least one basket. And everybody that I've got listed has played in that first eight minutes, Rob, except two for Heritage and one for Irving. And Thomas gets the inbounds dump from Leva. Underway. In the second quarter, they shoot it inside. Now back out, Cooks. Left wing to Williams. Williams will take the three. Goes deep, misses. 
Trying to see it underneath is Mario Diaz and off of Heritage. Yeah, Diaz, he crashed the boards after the miss there by Williams. Look from behind the shoulder of Kevon Thomas. They go baseline left for a three, and this time Williams connects. Bailey Williams with a three, and the lead at four now. That's how you beat a team with great size, shoot over them. Behind the back, Manley circles back, almost lost it. Fast pass into Crosby, and Crosby shooting over Diaz, misses, gets the loose ball, open is Weaver, and Weaver misses a line drive up from 16. Run down in the corner by Thomas, dumps it back into play, but a black sheriff here to take it, and now the drive, and the foul on Bailey Williams. A lot of bodies colliding underneath the glass, more like a football game down there. Diaz, he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Crosby, so. Definitely some uh, bodies clanking underneath the glass. Ryan Manley misses the first of two. Panthers did not make the playoffs last year. Ryan Manley, 6-1 senior on the second free throw. Missed them both. And up high with a loose ball is Diaz. 11-7. Chance for Irving to cut it to two with a deuce or maybe one with the three. Pretty. Markel Cooks with a 180 spin move and a bucket, and the lead is at a deuce for Heritage. Nice pull it pass inside to Ryan Manley. Nice catch and release, and the bucket, 13-9. Credit Weaver at 6'8", passing like a guard. Williams with a drive, misses over Crosby, tipped by Cooks, tipped again. And Crosby comes down with a one-handed start. Coach Hambrick told me, so go his guard, so well will his team go in postseason. He says the bigs, they're, they're the bread and butter of this team, but he has to have great, great guard play to go deep in postseason. Weaver outside the Manley, Manley inside the Crosby in the corner. Rittenauer. Caleb Rittenauer with his second three-point bomb. Tigers need to find an answer, or this one's going to get away from them in a hurry, John. It was a lead of seven at the end of the quarter. That's the deficit now. The drive and trying to work himself around uh, Nelson and drawing the foul with 5.41 to go. Team foul number three on the Panthers. Nelson, number four, was encouraging that time. Kevon Thomas clapping in his face, saying, come on, come on. And so Kevon drove and drew the foul, and that, that got his football player buddies behind us excited and something for them to cheer about here in the first half. Wholesale changes for the Panthers. They bring in Steele and two others at the free throw line. Cooks misses. Diaz, a rather... Perla, Perla got a shot off, partially blocked. Here's Steele on the other end, and the block underneath on DC Choice. Team foul number three on the Tigers. And we'll see Tristan Steele, number five at the line. Watch the move there by Steele. Really quick off the dribble. Six foot senior. A little heavy on the first. Davalos back in, and Choice will take a breather for Irving. They have about six players on the bench to choose from, and Coach Perry has rotated them fairly often already. Steele makes good on the second, and the lead now at eight. Backcourt issues for Thomas. Goes cross court to Allen. Back to Thomas. And almost thrown away. Allen able to save it, gets a shot off, misses. Run down by Cooks. And he throws it away, overshot Davalos on the side. Marky Young back in for Heritage, number three. 6'4 seniors, averaging 15 points a game. Stephen Perry 
You mentioned the casual look. Let's call it a Hawaiian look tonight in uh, mid-December here. <laughs> Why not? Marky Young, little shovel dump off and a travel on steal and a turnover with 4.55 to go in the half. Was it Steele or was it Young that was kind of nonchalant in his drop-off pass? Oh. In traffic is Allen. Baseline right in the corner. And a three pumped in by Davalos. That's what Second the Tigers need. Tigers got to have that. 17-12. Trailing by a nickel. 4.34 to go in the half. Gaga, a bounce pass collected by Young. He dishes off to Rittenauer, who in turn, now back out on the corner. Boy, they move it quick. Steele, Steele go, tries to go underhand, swatted away by Crooks. Steele has a really fast first step, doesn't he? He can go to the left and he can go to the right equally as fast. So they're gonna get a foul. On uh, the Tigers, that is the fourth. Well, a double technical. Steel. Yeah, it's going to be it's Steele and Perla. They they kind of bumped each other a little bit and kind of had a little a small stare down, if you will. And I think that's just the official's way of saying no more. All right, a double T, and Tristan Steele hits the first. That makes it. 18-12. Mario Diaz. Watch, watch after the play. See him just the Perla. <laughs> Perla must have said something. All right, Steele. Good on the second. That gives him five points. You know what I like? Both coaches have pulled both players out of the game. They got the double got the technical just to talk to him and settle him down, tell him what they expect of him. Tigers down by seven. They slow it up. Thomas is fronted by Zachary Carroll for the first time with 31. <laughs> From behind the glass, Thomas with no angle at all, and it goes. He had to get over Crosby's reach right there. And he just rainbowed that puppy in. A teardrop, if you will. And a basket and one for Kevon Thomas, 6'2", senior averaging a dozen points and five rebounds on the year. Just to make it a lead of four. So an eight-point lead has been cut to four as we dip under four minutes. Veering over to the right side is O'Gagan. Now shoots it left side. Miller inside of Marky Young. Spins. Lost it. Nice suppression from behind by Markel Cooks. I want to throw it away here up top from about 20 as Thomas misses. And stepping out of bounds, leaning out of bounds. Unable to save it is Zachary Carroll, number 31. Irving gets it back underneath the goal as you see Stephen Hamrick. Weaver back in, one of the taller players for Colleyville. Crosses deep to Thomas. Caught plenty of those with an oblong object. <laughs> Irving not in any hurry and why not? I mean, they've got to be deliberate to find that split second to shoot like there. Allen, Allen misses. Little strong and trying to save it was a Diaz. On the run is Ogega. Underneath misses. Nice pressure by Daniel Allen. Trying to go the other way and Irving gives it up with under three minutes. Number double deuce, Braden Miller. Side court to Carroll, and what a three-second call. Indeed, three-second lane against the 6'8 senior, Alex Weaver. He didn't think it was in there that long, and Weaver will now go into defensive position with 2.48 to go in the first half. Well, it's not like you're not getting any effort by the Tigers because these guys are really playing tough. 
having to work very hard for every opportunity they get. Not a lot of open looks for this team. Tigers 11 points this quarter. The Panthers with eight. And number three to play it in, Daniel Allen. Allen looking for and finding Kevon Thomas. Thomas collects it, shoots it ahead. This is Davalos. Davalos misses, rebound by Diaz, and they reset it. Thomas, right hash mark. Now goes behind, Cooks. And they'll reset it again. Well, he's gonna try the three anyway, and missing is Davalos. Hit a three earlier. Bailey Williams has the other Tiger three-pointer. Under two minutes, lead stays at four. Marky Young seal off. Up high to Weaver. They don't get short change on the passing, do they? Boy, everybody touches it. Kevin Oigiga. Outside to Miller, inside of Marky Young, turns on Diaz, gets a shot off and scores. When Marky Young can get position like that, he is tough to stop. He's a strong guy at 6'4", plays more like a 6'7". Zachary Carroll with a backcourt foul. And that'll put Irving in the bonus with a minute 27 to go in the first half. Young coming off a 13-point <laughs> game, and now Irving at the line and a chance to make it a four-point deficit again. <laughs> Zachary trying to uh, plead his case there. You know you never win. Hey, he's more guilty than Tom DeLay was. <laughs> Short on the first, getting the rebound is Thomas. Misses from the wide edge. Kevin Ogega on Thomas here. Trying to milk some time, kicked away. They'll replay it with 109. Tigers have committed five fouls. You look up at the score and you think, how is Irving only six points behind? You would think they should be in double figure deficit right now. Yeah, as many times as the Panthers have taken shots. And now whistle away from the ball. And they're looking towards the direction of Davalos, number five. I think so, yeah. Shoulder block. That's the sixth team foul. 63 seconds to go in the first. Pace has slowed down just a little bit. And Zachary misses from three-point range. Underneath, dropping it in carefully. Marky Young. A little soft two-hander. And the lead at eight. Do you hold it for the final shot? Well, Zachary's on Thomas. It has to be a good shot. Thomas with a draw. They start the five second count. Yeah, they're going down to a zero, zero, zero. Situation, if at all possible. Trailing by eight, 17 seconds left. And look at the cushion that Carroll gives Kevon Thomas, about 12 feet. Well, they're up by eight. I think they feel comfortable just sagging back. With four seconds to Cooks. Taken away. It doesn't work. They milked it all the way down. Didn't even get a shot off. And they'll trail by eight at intermission. Halftime here at Irving High. Our score, Collierville Heritage out of District 76A, leading the Irving Tigers 23-15 on our ICTN Basketball Game of the Week. Real deal. 
All right, we're at halftime with Colleyville Heritage on top, 23-15. Highlights from the first half. Colleyville Heritage working well inside and out. That's the offense. Young over here to Miller, who worked free for the easy goose underneath. And then Rittenauer with the tray left alone at the top of the key. They can hurt you either way. Their big man is Young. When he gets free on the inside, look out. This guy can do some damage on the other side. There's Choice, a little Choice going right down the lane for a deuce. Davalos with the tray, got to get more of that in the second half. And then Thomas is just an all-around athlete. Good speed, good movement, kisses it off the glass. Three-point play. First half highlights in the books. And speaking of the books, here's the scoring. Rittenauer with six, steal five. Young with a couple of baskets. And Ogiga, Miller, Manley, and Crosby with two each. Thomas leads the scoring for Irving for, with just five points. Bailey Williams hit one three-pointer. Davalos with the tray, Choice, and Cook. So for the Irving Tigers, Mr. Nelson, I think we need to get a little more offense going and try to go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with Colleyville Heritage. I want to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of scoring here in the second half. The same starters for both teams that begin as they try to go inside to Marquee Young. It was broken up. Young able to run it down as the Panthers take possession of the first to begin the second half. J.D. Stump on one side, and there's the other guard, Ogiga. Shoots it into Young. Young from 17 misses, fired it over 5'11", Markel Cooks, and the first possession for Irving in the second half. Tigers outscored 12-11 in the second quarter. Again, Irving coming off a loss to Plano John Paul II at the uh, Keller ISD tournament, 51-39. That school hasn't been open very long, about 10 years. Spinning, shooting, and connecting over Young is Markel Cooks. Cooks with his second field goal, his fourth point. It's 23-17. That's a little like it there for the Irving Tigers. Patience and finding the open man. Heritage winning by 24 over Lake Highlands, dropping it in underneath. Is Marky Young? That's his sixth point, coming off a 13-point game. So strong in the baseline. I wonder if anybody's looking at him. He has really good size and good jumping ability. At six four, bounce it over to Choice. Sends it in the corner. Davalos is trying to go to Perla. And off of Ogiga underneath. Yeah, he hit it twice. Tried to save it. That second time, he was out of bounds. Kevon Thomas to dump it back in play. He's got Davalos deep. And inside, working himself wide open, Markel Cooks. Cooks got open. Boy, the defensive snafu there for Collinville Heritage. 25-19. Tristan Steele, above the floor pass to Young, puts it on the floor. Steele again, driving on Davalos, shoots over Davalos, a little short, picked off by number 22, who got nothing, Miller. Boy, if you're Heritage, you gotta be a little disheartened because you had so many opportunities. Third possession for the Tigers in this half. Middle man is DC Choice. Inside the Cooks, and Cooks over Young. He got to the baseline before Young could, and Markel Cooks now with eight points. Six of those here in the second half. The lead at four. Bounce pass into Young. Young turning, pump fake, gets the shot off anyway and scores over Cooks. Had his mind made up all the way what to do and carried it out. Seems like it's Cooks and Young battling here in the third quarter. 27-21. Through traffic is Choice. Inside open, Perla rims out, gets it back. And on the second effort, able to score. Perla with a 17-point game, his last outing. Nice pass that time by Choice, too. 27-23, drifting over left side, O'Gagan. Now in the middle, this is Miller. Stump. And it stays in. Tristan Steele used every bit of the rim. His seventh point. 
And the lead at six. Tigers will open up district play on the second of January. They'll play Jesuit, the home district opener. It is against Skyline. The Raiders come here on the night of the 20th. You know, this Irving really doesn't want to rush things, do they? They're very deliberate offensively here. As they end the second quarter, same style. Thomas, round one. He'll shoot. He'll hit the side of the glass. Perla saves it. It won't go. And trying to come out with it is Thomas. And Thomas step for step with Tristan Steele. Well, Thomas caught him from behind and committed the foul. Got to have Thomas out there. He's kind of the ringleader offensively, bringing the ball up to the court, running this offense. Nance Nelson in square, double in. <laughs> At a guard, number four. Outside of Oyega, here's Nelson, gets rid of it quickly. Miller into Marky Young. Young shouldered away. Now gets it back inside. Braden Miller with a drive, a jump step, and a pass outside for a three-pointer. That's missed. It was taken by J.D. Stump. And the deficit still six. And a travel on Markel Cooks. Well, you know, Collegeville Heritage is keeping Irving in the ball game despite Irving with the turnover there. The Tigers just cannot take advantage of some cold shooting by Colleyville here in the third quarter. Each team has made a couple of three-pointers. Lob feed into Young. He's double teamed. It's kicked away. It was kicked away by Thomas, and then the Cooks came around from the other side. Well, they're going to give the foul to Choice. Choice reaching in that time, making contact. Team foul number two on Irving and 6-5. Max Crosby entered a forward, number 33. Panther possession. They lob it up to Crosby. Nelson almost threw it away. Young able to collect it. 29-23. Colleyville Heritage, 11-1 on the year. They won 10 consecutive games. Kevin Ogiga. He misses. Rebound picked up by J.D. Stump. So the Panthers get it back. Came in averaging 57 points a game. Nobody there. Crosby had started towards a baseline, and Erla picked it up. And a missed shot there. Under two minutes. Waiting is Young. Double pump goes up. And is hammered. Team foul number three on the Tigers with a minute 56 to go. I'm surprised he doesn't draw any more fouls than that. Fax's his first trip to the free throw line because he works the baseline really well. Head fake, and we talked about it before, really good extension, a good lead pass by Thomas there. Get the head fake and get Kevon to commit, and now he's at the free throw line. He bags the first. He's got nine points. Heritage on the night. Four of seven from the charity stripe. The lead at seven. Daniel Allen outside with Thomas. Keep on Thomas. Back to Allen. Here's Davalos. <laughs> They'll get it back. Bailey Williams. Full inbound. Williams in for Perla. And Diaz also in as well. Mario Jr. Bailey Williams, a sophomore. Williams, here's Cooks. Back to Williams, right on the line. It hits the side of the glass. And goes out of bounds with a minute 17 to go on the third. All it's going to take tonight, the way these two teams have beat each other up defensively, 
one team gets on a spurt, that could pretty much end it. The Tigers have outscored the Panthers here 8-7 in this quarter. Inside of the big guy and misses. That's Weaver. Got tied up with Cooks. Under a minute. And again, if you hold it, you better, they better pay off dividends and points. It was not the case to end the first half for Irving. Cooks turn. That's off balance all the way. Williams trying to save it. Cooks to the floor and picked up by Heritage as they go the other way. Kevin Ogiga with 25 seconds. A low, low scoring contest. Irving came in averaging 56. But Heritage's defense this year, a very, very stingy defense allowing under 42 points a game with seven seconds. It's kicked. They try to roll it into Max Crosby. Crosby in the paint with Diaz. Uh, two come in and two come out. One of those in is Manley, number 23 for the Panthers. Man, both uh, the Thomas, the, yeah, Thomas and Cooks both look pretty winded right now. Just lob it up high for Weaver. And they go deep to Nelson with five seconds. Nelson back outside. And from about 24, it misses, and we go to the fourth. At the end of three, Colleyville Heritage 30, Irving 23. You're watching the ICTN Basketball Game of the Week. All right, we're about ready for the fourth and final quarter of this ball game. 30-23, not a lot of scoring, some stingy defense. And if the Tigers can put a little streak together, John, maybe we can have a game of this here toward the end of the ball game. Yeah, let's have a good scintillating fourth quarter here. The Panthers have brought in the three-point shooter, Caleb Rittenauer, number 34. Everything's possession here to start the fourth quarter. Kevon Thomas. Thomas with five points tonight. Outside, they shut down Allen. Here's Allen again from about 20. It misses, and up high is Diaz. Going deep again, missing from the top of the key, Thomas. And who had it last? Off of Irving. Last touch by Allen. Ryan Manley will start the fourth quarter. Tip, but... Nelson able to get to it. Up high to the 6'8 senior Weaver. Weaver working on Williams. This is Manley with a drive. Tried to hand it off to Crosby. Gets it back and blocked by Williams. Bailey Williams with a rejection. Underneath in the drive, Crosby with a block as Allen hits the deck. Off the glass, and a 6'8 senior with his first two of the game. Alex Weaver connects. It is 32-23. They want to try to get in a guard, Kevin Levy. Thomas takes a rare break in this ball game. They pretty much have to depend on him to get the ball across the court in the timeline. A double figure streak. They come to an end. Thomas, the last five games, has been in double digits. They trail by nine. Kevin Leva. Here's Diaz. Diaz is closed off. Well, potted Allen. Cooks. Bailey Williams. And he goes deep and bottoms it out. His second three and the team's third. 32-26. They need to get Williams to get hot out there. Get a couple more trays and make a game of this. In the corner, short all the way. Manley 
took the shot. Got Williams camping over here on the left wing. And Williams is run into by Nance Nelson. The first foul committed by the Panthers in the second half. I'm going to bring on Braden Miller now. They come out. No, I'm going to stay in. At side court, it'll be Tiger possession. Kevin Leva. This is two teams that definitely doesn't just stick with five plays. And you can use all the columns in the scoring book. Three-pointer over the rim by Davalos. Crosby grabs the loose ball with 5.15 to go in the game. It was 23-15 at halftime. Heritage had the lead. They send it in down low, and scoring two more is Alex Weaver. Weaver's fourth point. <laughs> Contact, no whistle. Davalos, short to the floor, and a tie-up. It'll belong to the Panthers with 4.47 to play. Tigers tonight just having a very rough shooting night from the perimeter. And number five, Tristan Steele. Pull inbound. Irving will pull Davalos. And Kevon Thomas back in. The Panther lead at eight, trying to go to 12 and one on the year. The lob to Marquis Young from Weaver. Turns and misses. And you had Thomas in front of him. Who's it on? It's a 14 foul. Maybe it's Williams who is behind him. It'll put Marquis Young at the stripe. Had a chance to go on double figures as he misfires on the first. Ivan Perla, 6'3 senior in now. Panthers with three of six in foul shooting the first half, and Young gives Irving a break as he misses both of them. And you've got to score in these possessions, every possession now. Kevin Leva. Leva working hard with Steele. Dumps nice it pass. off. Perla underneath. And the lead at six. These Irving fans behind us just looking for something to explode and cheer about. Into Weaver. Misses. Gets his own rebound. Now back deep in the corner. And the drive, and the bank shot missed on the run by Miller, and then the whistle underneath. Last touch by Weaver, much to his chagrin. Basket here, man, they cut it to four. Yeah, 34-28, under four minutes. Back court to Leva. Here's Allen. Ooh. Mm -mm. Trying to throw it off. Of Leva, it's Colleyville Heritage's possession and the drive and the miss by Steele. And now they surround Young. That backcourt pass got away. And Heritage able to fire it off the defender. And all of that sequence, they come up with a, a foul, team foul number five on the Tigers. It'll be a non shooting foul. You could have called that foul on a, on a host of Tigers. Happened right in front of us. So Giga inbounds, gets it back, almost stepped out of bounds. Here's Weaver, and back in the middle of Steele. They said that went off the back of one of the defenders. And backing in, the foul is on Weaver. Backed in and moved aside Bailey Williams, number 33. Oh, watch the inbound play. Goes off the back of Thomas. And here's Thomas in the backcourt as they press. Yeah. 
Williams, too much on it. Rebound, Thomas hits the front of the rim. 3.05 to go. Drive in the basket. Number five, Tristan Steele, his ninth point. The lead at eight, and again they press. Thomas over the half court strike. Williams, high jump pass to Leva. The Cooks. Points this period for Irving, five. Six for the Panthers. Well, you can be too selective sometimes and not even get a shot off. Cooks does and misses. Trying to save it was Perla. And he was shaking loose of the ball. Team foul number three. Number 35, J.D. Stump in at a forward at 6-2. Irving's possession, Kevon Thomas. Bailey Williams goes up, lost it. They get it back. The time is slipping away. Thomas misses. Cooks blocked by Weaver. Oh, Weaver just Johnny on the spot. Baseline left from about 21. Steel misses. Long rebound. Heritage with a minute 55 to go. Coach Ambert says take it out. Trying to win their 11th game in a row. Before that loss to Plano, John Paul III, the Tigers lost to, or they beat L.D. Bell and lost to Birdville by 11. Look at that move and getting open and nobody around J.D. Stump. Well, he waited until less than two minutes of the ball game to get his first two points, but they come at a good time. He becomes the ninth different Panther to score, and that may do it, 38-28. And as we take a break and Coach Hambrick talks to his Heritage Panthers, let's uh, talk about the fine folks at Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning, the charter sponsor of the ICTN Game of the Week. Appreciate the fine folks at Gerald Stavely for sponsoring the ICTN sporting event on a weekly basis. Thanks again to Gerald Stavely. And we've got about a buck 21 left in this ball game, and the Irving Tigers down by 10. And they really, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the stat sheet. You know, who can you look at to, to score points? Who's, who's putting points out there? Well, there's not one player in double figures yet for, for the Irving Tigers. And, you know, there's not one in double figures for, the, for Colleyville either. So it's not like any team's lighting this thing up from the outside. You had a couple of nice threes by Bailey Williams. Markel Cooks, you know, he those quick little – Turnaround jumpers when they get him in the paint, just a few a yeah. few feet from the basket, has worked on occasion. But by and large, man, the jump shot has just failed uh, Irving tonight, and and Colleville has just enough big guys underneath, athletes, big athletes underneath to make the difference in this one. Equal distribution point wise tonight. You're right for both teams. All right, Irving's possession with a minute 20 to go. Kevon Thomas ahead to Cooks. Bailey Williams cross court heave to Thomas. To Cooks at the free throw line, misses, rebound tipped above, and Irving gets it back. Backing away, filling it up is Daniel Allen. Allen's first two of the game. 38 30 timeout. Panthers with exactly 60 seconds to play. It's a quick timeout. Both coaches won't have a lot of time to strategize. It's probably more or less Hambrick just wants to tell his kids in this next minute what to do. Believe it or not, er, er, her, uh, here's a sequence. There's Cooks crashing the boards. Perla doing a good job. And then Allen stroking one in from close range. But, you know, Perla and Cooks both, they're, they're kind of the guys that they need underneath what size they do have to crash the boards and muscle around to try to get the rebounds. Panthers have been in the 30s 
and they won. They beat Timber Creek 31-30. <laughs> really? Yeah. But looking at some of their scores, they scored 105 against Burt Burnett. Wow, from 31 to 105. Now, Burt Burnett, that's like a 4A school, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, okay, J.D. Stump, as the Panthers have to go the length of the court, but they lead by eight as the Tigers press. Choice trying to collapse on his defender. This is Ogiga, and they clear it over the timeline. And the grab and the hold in the corner, Perla, as he wraps up Alex Weaver with 50.2 to go. I think the Panthers might have got away with a the travel there, bringing that across the timeline. Team foul number six. I'm going to give it to Kellen Ogiga to play it in. There's the 6'8 senior with a four points off for the bench tonight. Alex Weaver open and an easy bucket and the foul. J.D. Stump, and that'll do it. That was a frustration move there on Thomas's part. He got wide open, and you know what they say, if you're going to foul someone, really foul someone. Foul them to where they won't miss it. Kevon just a little upset with himself after that one. A brick on the free throw, but the lead stays at 10. Allen. And Allen with 40 and a half seconds left will go to the line. Eleven junior with a couple of points. Now his third of the night. One of four. The Tigers with six seniors. Four juniors and one sophomore. Allen lines up the second and fills it up. 40-32. And the long pass caught by J.D. Stump as he climbed the ladder. Front court to Weaver. They'll just play pitch and catch here and hope for the foul, and there it is with 32 seconds to play. You know, the thing is, is that as well as Colleville has been playing this year, at least in the preseason polls, they're not even predicted to make postseason, not even predicted to go on after district. Richland, Bell, Coppell, Carroll, your four. Irving beat Bell this year. There's a miss. Perla with a rebound, but time running out, down by eight, and Stump impeding the progress of Kevon Thomas. And Thomas will go with the strike. Kevon has uh, a total of five points. Misses, so he's still got a full house. Came in hitting 78% from the line. His high game this year, 28 points. He missed them both. And an easy rebound for Alex Weaver. And Heritage will go to 12 and 1 on the year. They will now have won 11 in a row. Well, for Thomas, that could be tired arms. Could be, yeah. In uh, 9-6-A, the Irving Tigers, on the other hand, who's losing tonight, coach has had them fourth preseason. Skyline, Jesuit, MacArthur, Irving. Almost uh, looks pretty close to football playoff teams. They're the one, two, and three. Very similar. Alex Weaver at the stripe for the first time. Missed it. Williams gets the board. 17 seconds to play. Bailey Williams lets it fly. It misses with under 12 seconds to go. And Allen wraps up Marky Young. Back all the way down at the other end. It's Marky Young at the line. One of four from the line and in double figures. So the Panthers do have a man 
in double digits. He's got 10, came in averaging 15, drops in another one. And the lead at 10. Well, tonight the Grinch stole Christmas and he wears black and red. A little short with four seconds. Not even gonna attempt to guard the defender and that will do it as the Colleyville Heritage Panthers knock off the Irving Tigers by 10 in a low scoring 42-32 affair. Heritage now goes to 12 and one. The Tigers fall to two and nine. Rob Woolman gonna try to get a word or two with head coach Stephen Perry as the Tigers who won last year's game by five lose this year's game by 10. 42-32 your final. We'll be back to wrap it up here at Irving High right after this. Check, check, check. So are you going the casual look this year? You know. Or is this the pre-district look? This is the pre-district look. <laughs> yeah, you know, we've got we to win, and uh, one of these, and we have one of our wins in this shirt, so hey. Oh, okay, I <laughs> see. Go. You're not superstitious, <laughs> are you? No, of course I'm not. superstitious, heck. <laughs> Rob, two shot on me. All right, sounds good. Coach, you just talk to him. <sighs> to the big guy there. Oh. <laughs> Stand up. All right, about three questions. Colleyville Heritage wins it by 10, 42-32. They hold the Tigers to nine points here in the fourth quarter. A low scoring affair, but the uh, Panthers prevail as they win their 11th in a row. Rob Woolman with Irving head coach now, Stephen Perry. All right, John, thank you very much. Coach, uh, good news in all this, you held them to 42 points. No, oh, without a doubt. You know, I, I thought our guys played extremely hard. You know, this was our first home game. We've, we've had 10 on the road, so uh, we wanted to come out and make a statement that, hey, it's going to be tough to play in here when you come visit us, and, and I thought those, I thought our guys did that. Very big team you played tonight. Got really good size. Oh, you know what? Everybody we played this year has more size than us, and, you know, I don't think that's going to change. Uh, you know, our post, uh, Ivan Perla, uh, Markel Cooks, uh, Mario Diaz, I thought they played very strong and, 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 you know, holding those guys down. But, you know, in the end, kind of size gave out. You got district right around the corner. Uh, your thoughts heading in once the postseason or once the uh, district season begins? Um, you know, we've got, we got a tough district, you know, you know, but I think we're right there in the mix. Um, you know, I think, uh, any game we'll play, any game we play, it can go either way, you know. But you've got Jesuit, you've got the Irving schools, you've got Skyline. Uh, it's going to be tough, but you know we're up for the challenge. A lot of good athletes in this district, so you got to have your A game every night. Oh yeah, we'll bring it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. All right, Coach. Good luck this year. Okay, thank you. All right, appreciate it, Coach. All right, John, back to you, man. John Nelson back here at Irving High. It was 23-15. At halftime, Marky Young kind of silent in the first half for Colleyville Heritage, but kind of caught fire. Ended tonight with 11 points. This is action in the third quarter. 
as he works himself free underneath. Scores over Markel Cooks. And then two more of his 11 points. Speaking of Markel Cooks, he finished the night with eight. Shoots and scores over his counterpart, Marky Young, and then gets a nice inbound pass from Kevon Thomas. Thomas tonight finished with five points. Your two leading scorers for Colleyville Heritage, Marky Young with 11. Tristan Steele finished with nine. There's the rest of the scoring. Nine different players accounting for the 42 points tonight for Colleyville Heritage. For the Tigers, Markel Cooks netted eight. Bailey Williams hit a couple of threes. Kevon Thomas finished with five. And then Allen, Perla, Davalos, and Choice. So that'll do it as the Colleyville Heritage Panthers win their 11th in a row on the year. They now go to 12 and one. The Tigers set their sights on district play. Non-district now at two and nine. Heritage wins it by 10. On behalf of everyone here at ICTN, have a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you in 2015. Game of the Week has been brought to you in part by Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning.